The walkway was just at the bottom of these stairs to the right. That's weird movement. Why did he do that? It's not here. How am I supposed to... Why is there a wall here? Yeah, push it with your man strength. There's a whole other building. What the hell is going on? Yuka! Why must you torment me like this? And so I sat there lamenting in many losses I'd suffered during the short time of this otherworldly other worldly school without even a will to stand. This is reminding me of Max Payne. I just kept on sitting, stewing in my misery. I couldn't even say how much time passed. But the silence was broken all this by a sudden rumbling. The entire building began to shake violently. Damn it, another earthquake? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I like Satoshi a lot. <laughs> He's like, get cut this crap out. I love that. What's happening? I won't get anywhere wallowing in self-pity. You guys swear I'll protect you. Please wait for me. I'm going to find a way back into that other building if it kills me. I think that's what you might have to do, man. It's implied in the story that if you die, you could end up in the other world? I don't know. It's really confusing. But did that earthquake do anything to help me? Anything at all. There's this bro. Damn it, I need a second person. I feel like I could have saved her, but I couldn't find I can't find anything for her to stand on. I don't think lifting her up would have helped. But I need that fucking key. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Someone's cell phone is lying on the ground. It's Psycho's cell phone. It's, it's a Psycho's, isn't it? Psycho seems to have been in the middle of texting someone when she dropped her phone. The text entry window is still open. While confirming the phone's owner, Satoshi wound up in advertising reading the whole thing. <sighs> I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to. Was it that personal? Can we read it? Wait, oh, it was a message to Naomi. And we still have this crap. Ah. Uh, Interesting. Hello? Who are you? It's okay, calm down, I'm a friend. Just relax, you're alright. What, what do you need? Her front tooth is missing and it doesn't look like an accident. My name is Machida. I'm 11th grade student here at uh, Kasuraga Academy, and you are? My, my, my name is Toko Kurosaki. I'm 11th grader too. May I ask how you got here? There was this charm from the internet, and we tried it. And all of us were brought here. A charm, same as us then? They all said we'd try to get out of here together, but then one of them, Yua, went out of his mind, and he, he pushed one of my friends down the stairs. He killed him. Then with a smile on his face, he started playing with the body. 
I ran as quickly as I could. That's horrible. Everyone. Everyone's going crazy in here. Uh, I can't trust anyone, so get away from me. Alright, I'll go. Just please try to stay calm. Ugh. Oh, man, come on. I need help here. I need a second person. What, does anything happen if you try to mess with her? I don't want to die. 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 Okay. <sighs> no one's going to explain how they ended up there or if they remember anything before getting there. Hey. Have you come to kill me too? Oh, okay. Interesting. Um... I feel like she's gonna freak out no matter what I say, just because I'm here. No. Of course not. You hold yourself. We just talked. What's that? I ain't done my homework yet. So you think I'm just gonna sit back and let you kill me? She's got a pair of scissors. Someone's talking to me. I couldn't move. And she's apologizing. My God, I've been stabbed. But I'm okay. How is this possible? When Satoshi found Psycho's cell phone, he went to put it in his pants pocket, but Naomi's was already there, and there wasn't enough room for both. Wait, he went to put it in his pants pocket, but when Naomi was already there, and there wasn't enough room for both. Okay, so he put it in his breast pocket instead. And that just so happened to be where the exact spot where his where the scissors struck him. Psycho's cell phone absorbed the brunt, brunt of the impact. Are you okay? What the hell is wrong with you? <sighs> Where did you get these scissors? So she threw the pair of scissors into the corner of the room. Well, they could be useful, I think. You could have took them. Please get a hold of yourself. I need a second person for that stupid puzzle upstairs. It's no use. She's far too gone for conversation. So yeah, for those, because I edited it out, I, uh, I'll save on four. I explored more. Like, this game wants you to explore a lot, to, and then once you come back to an area or revisit it later, something else will trigger. That's how this game works. I wish my teacher, Miss Yu, was here. Why do you wish that? Satoshi. If something always happens, or something different. Wait, oh, Miss Sushido? Oh! Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, so apparently I'm in the same dimension as him. Uh, what's his name and what's her face? I was just thinking about you. And, and, and I, and I, you, Makoda. You were in trouble just now, weren't you? I feel so bad for it. Yeah, those two. But I'm just so grateful to see that you're you're okay at the very least. Damn, you look fucked up. Miss you. You've done pretty you've done very well. Uh now come, we'll look we'll look for you and the others together. Miss you, I'm so tired. Damn. Alright, I can use this I can use this door as a bridge. Oh. I don't know how, but I made it out in one piece. Oh, this is a flashback. Yeah, that's where she ended up. Sure nobody was down there. That'd be funny if, if I 
if somebody in like chapter five actually gets hit by that door. This really hurts. Right arm is broken, completely dislocated. Damn. Feels like it's cling clinging together. My muscles and and su su alone hurt so much. I have to uh, hold it together with my hand. Okay, well that explains that. Fortunately, we know as the player that they are on the other side of that. Please be okay. I've come in to find you. So, so Toshi fell off, uh, passed out, right? You say your, you say your students aren't listening to you. What? Oh, another flashback. Okay, I just don't know what to do. Interesting. I feel like I've lost the will to teach. Hmm. I've received emails from their parents and guardians every single day. They say I'm a teacher who gets no results. That I'm useless. Going over my head straight straight to you. That's terrible. I'm the home routine. I'm the homeroom teacher here. I should be the one answering to them. <sighs> this is my fault for always going on my business trips and leaving you to fend off the wolves to on your own. They must have given you hell. I'm so sorry. No, I'm just the assistant homeroom teacher. That's my duty to attend the class in your absence. In fact, it's been my honor to have you entrust me with your students. It's just that lately, no matter what I say, every last student in the class in 2-9 makes a joke out of it. If I react too strongly, they all start to talk back. They must hate me by now. And I don't blame the parents. The bottom line is, what's important, it's about the results. And what I want most of all is for these kids to get good grades for their own futures, if not anything else. Now, here's the thing. I know a lot of people who just are like, hey, what do you want to do when uh, for college or whatever? I'm going to go be a teacher. It doesn't matter what grade it is. Maybe kindergarten gets a pass, but any, like, why would you want to be a teacher? This is stressful. And if they get good grades, then maybe be their parents. Maybe uh, maybe their parents will leave me alone. Like, I have no nothing against people who want to be teachers, but... You know, if you want to be a pe teacher, that's a very tough job, but a very respectable job in my eyes. But to the kids, they don't give a shit about you. <laughs> Unless you're cool, but, you know, it's it's tough to be cool and be strict and be a teacher at the same time. I know some teachers that balance that really well, but yeah. I want you to close your eyes and think back. Think back to what? To your students, of course. If every day I give you 110% of them. Oh, you give 110% for them. And you know as well as I do that some of them truly appreciate it. Any guesses on which one? You really think any of them care? Well, there's some students that care. What about uh, Shinazaki, who usually hates her teachers? Uh, she's in the staff room asking you questions every day. And uh, Kishinuma... <laughs> who almost never came to s at school all year. He's been here at least four times each week since you started. Never thought I'd see the day. The students have been have been taking notice and they're appreciative of you. Believe me, they don't hate you one bit. Just like 40% of them do. And even if that's true, I still don't get the re I still don't get the results. I mean, they may like me, but if they don't get the grades to back it up, their parents will never will. And more importantly, if students can't get good grades, then I failed them as a teacher. No, it's on the students. It's true that things might look different uh, from a parent's point of view than they do from the school's. And a student's ability to excel in is indeed of the most up utmost importance. But the way I see it, the means through which you teach those students just is just as important as the material they learn. In fact, it may even be more important. We only get these children for these short, uh, three short years. During that time, one must wonder, did they enjoy their classes? Will they remember them as valuable, meaningful experiences? 
After all, they always their worries, res, uh, resolutions, life lessons, and moments of personal growth. Will they look back at these three years during the graduation and say, hey, I really enjoyed this school? Nope. Ensure that they do uh, is just as much as a part of the teacher's job as the material she teaches. And it's not that Shinozaki and, and Kishinuma think about Shinohora, whose uh, home life is really getting down, uh, getting her down. And Nakashima, after they met you, their smiles seem to get a lot brighter. Shinohora? She's got a real knack for hiding her true feelings, doesn't she? What can I do for what can I do for my students? As soon as you start asking yourself that question without even thinking about it, then you're a bona fide teacher through and through. In fact, I say even once you reach that point, you've proven that education is your nature, basically you were born to teach. And no one can take that honor away from you. So how about you reclaim what is rightfully yours? Dude, that was a pretty epic speech for a teacher. It's remarkable how little you've changed from when you were a student here yourself. Whenever you had something on your mind, you'd always seek my guidance. With eyes open wide and full of tears. Huh. You shouldn't strain yourself so much. Enjoy what you do. You you get to spend every precious day with your whole with your whole host of interesting youths. Wait till you get your first graduation and have somebody tell you, "Thanks for everything, Teach." Best feeling in the world. I'll get in contact with the parents and guardians and try to set them straight. And tomorrow, or whenever you like, we can go over some lessons planned together to help ensure that we get these students the graduation safe and sound. Okay. Hmm. Thanks for everything, Teach. Huh. Being able to pass the chores, rely on your old students to keep your affairs in order. Nerd. Nah, I'm kidding. That's interesting. Like, we get these flashbacks in these games, but I don't know if they actually mean anything towards the story, but it's character development. I get it. I feel like I've been dreaming for a long time. A terrible, anonymous dream when Nakashima and the others have all lost their lives. I wonder where am I? What the? What? What? Don't you understand the gravi gravity of the situation? Go now. Now I remember, I got buried in rubble after that. Oh. Shinozaki, I hope you were able to get out safely. What the fuck? What can I do for my students? Wait, Mr. E? Yamazaki? As soon as you start asking yourself that question, even without think of it, when you're a bona fide teacher through and through. I guess I did finally become a little more like a teacher. What the fuck? But it hasn't even been a year. And I can't move my body. I can't feel my lower half. Everything below my neck paralyzed. It's so dark, so lonely. I want it to live just a little longer. I am crying. I'm almost dead and here I am crying. I don't like most of my teachers very much. But I love I love her. Miss you. She's, she seems almost like a big sister to me. Wait, so she just got owned? Is it true you have a cat? I was thinking of adopting this little guy. I'm not sure what to go about it. Here, have a look. He's adorable. Miss you about that floppy, droopy panda necklace I've, you've got. Are you wearing it right now? It's hard to tell with those. Oh, wow. 
That was quite a punch. What the hell is happening? I'll write to you once I get settled my new school. you always be my teacher. You see your bike chain came off today, no? Never seen you take a spill like that before. You look so forlorn. It's kind of cute. It's hitting on a teacher. Wish you all the very best in this hellhole. Forge a path for yourselves. Don't let your future slip away. Jeez. Where's Satoshi? It's pretty rough, though. What? Oh. But I didn't advance in the story. Oh. No, I did not. Alright, so there was something I did wrong. First time in a while I've done that. Okay, well I'm going to stop here and try to figure out what I need to do differently. So, But that was... Well, like, if the teacher survives if I do the correct ending, that shit's not like going to be a waste of time. Uh, but yeah, it's all about the endings with these kind of handheld games. So hope you guys enjoyed that video for what it's worth, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out.